debunk Harry's final lies and the hearts of contagious queens. The words devastate him once again. Hello and welcome back to the Royal Family News YouTube channel. As Harry and Meghan launch new documentary Heart of It it once again seems like Harry's grievances don't add up, we'll never forget what the late Queen said about Harry's petty claims, recollections may vary and a cross-examination on his latest Netflix claims, off, Harry claimed there was no support and no one could help him as he suffered from PTSD after the war, did he declare. I didn't have that support structure, that network, or that expert advice to identify what was really happening to me, well, reality shows a different story and 27-year-old Harry said in an interview that his brother helped him after their mother died. He told The Telegraph's Brian Gordon on his Mad World podcast that Prince William encouraged him to go to therapy. Harry said for me personally, my brother bless him. It was a huge support for me. He kept saying it was wrong, IT is not normal. You have to talk to someone about certain things. It's okay for Harry. He also talked about his former private secretary. Jam is a down-to-earth officer who helped organize the second Afghanistan, and Harry said he trusted him from the start and also spoke of another line of secretary, Fox, a former household cavalry captain who, according to Harry, the ability to see the heart of things. Sources say it shows Harry had been surrounded by people who had the right experience and tried their best to help him. Harry also said the British media ignored stories of our wounded British soldiers in Afghanistan, referring to seeing wounded soldiers in 2008. Harry said, I was mad that the media didn't cover it, right, well, let's get the facts straight. The deaths and injuries of British servicemen in Afghanistan were widely covered and made headlines. The reports were collated based on official announcements released by the Ministry of Defense and provided photos and tributes from commanders to date. The BBC website still lists the 136 British soldiers who lost their lives there. In fact, many war correspondents have shown themselves to be just as close to the action as Harry was, and they had to lose their lives to pay for it, according to the Committee to Protect Journalists, 79 people were killed while covering events in Afghanistan, while two of them were seriously injured. Harry also complained about the media ruining his Afghanistan deployment. Well, that's nonsense. The thing is, the UK press has carefully kept its 2008 year a secret. Its coverage is indeed blown with a world exclusive on Harry the Hero, as well as the Australian women's magazine, New Idea. Harry told producers in Netflix that he was so upset he had to be evacuated for his safety and that of the other soldiers after his deployment was revealed. Well, I wonder if Harry thought of that. Maybe the soldiers are mad at him because he talks about how many people he killed or what about Harry's family. He thinks, maybe if they were angry with him for accusing them of things that aren't even true? This is what happens when you lie too much, you forget what you said and there will always be someone who remembers it better than you and you generally get caught up in your life. It's pathetic how Harry dedicated everything to him and said to celebrate all those injured fighters struggling with their bodies and sanity every second of the day. Please, Harry, grow up and show some respect. The late queen said it well, didn't she? Well, Harry's memories depend on whoever asks how much money is involved. Millions of people have lost their mothers. You know, actually, a close friend of mine also lost her mother when she was very young, and she didn't act like that. He didn't allow that to be an excuse for unpleasant behavior. Diana would be disgusted if she could see Harry today, I mean, he blames all his problems on his late mother. He needs to take a closer look at home. In fact, he needs to look in the mirror. We're approaching the anniversaries of his mother's and grandmother's deaths, but Harry knows how to create things about himself. Harry isn't the only person in the world to have lost a parent at a very young age, but you know what most people have to do to get on with their lives, it looks like Harry is expecting someone else to pick up all the pieces. Someone else who finds the solution to all his problems. There is no magic wand. Much depends on our thoughts and actions. It is important not to dwell on the past or to think things differently. Just think of the number of parents who have lost their children. I mean, they had to accept it, 
but they might not get the chance to get therapy, especially since they might have to pay for it. Harry acts like an asshole sometimes, and why does he never talk about William's grief over the loss of his mother? Harry is simply exploiting his mother's death 26 years later to make millions of dollars. And who are her two children, if they really want to remember their childhood, they were completely isolated from their two families as if they were a couple of orphans. I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. What's wrong with that? I mean, it looks like someone has come into his life and all the decent people around him. His support network, which we've all talked about before, was suddenly completely forgotten. Think if Harry took a look at his book, interviews and other documents with a logical brain, maybe he would understand that he was manipulated into forgetting the truth. But it's sad to see him like this. Who Todd was and it's something his family saw. And now it looks like nothing is saved. Of course, many people know the truth about the conversations between the people involved, but I can't believe much of what Harry says about his constant contradiction. Her truth seemed to change to match her mood at the time, while support for traumatized members of the military can and has been spotty. However, trauma risk management, also known as TRIM, was used in the British Army before and during the conflict in Afghanistan. But that might not help Harry as it takes some effort. I just can't believe Harry didn't participate in the trial. At least he was offered to enlist, and I also can't believe that constitutionally and personally, Harry didn't receive support upon his return from the family medical team and from some relatives and close friends, you see, I don't think Harry is always based on reality. He is always the victim, everyone is against me, it has always been like that. Nothing good ever happens to me. I know people who like it and they seem to have a really sick way of seeing the world. They always forget the good things that really happen to them, they are always quick to see the negative, they like to moan. They like to complain about inner lack, they ignore the positive and want to focus only on the negative, even the perceived negatives that aren't even real. And if one day these children are real, they will learn all about it and discover the life they could have had if their parents had not been so completely insane. One more thing I was wondering, do any of you really believe that Harry came up with the idea for Friends Games on his own? I do not believe it one second, I think the company had to find something to occupy it. Give him something to do and he'll find himself in control of the game. I just don't see him being really passionate about it. It seems to appear roughly and that's it. And it's true that the press is very negative when it comes to alleged competitors. This shouldn't be a platform for his grievances and shifting blame and now it looks like he's really trying to overshadow the good work he's done. The people making this documentary were supposed to talk about the games, not Harry's memories. It's not about him. Harry was unhurt. He was protected like no one else, Harry should be ashamed of himself. Harry, it's not all up to you. Again, your truth has changed since the 2017 release. Many people have lost their parents at a very young age and most of them have not received any help. But you know what everyone had to do with life and with you, what do you think of Harry? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. If you find my video helpful please give it a like and share it with your friends and family who would enjoy it as well. And subscribe to our Royal Family News Channel for more updates in the future. Again, thank you very much for looking. Goodbye and we will come back to see you in the next videos.